What's up guys, this is Steve for Android at Night and today we are going to be talking about Android launchers. Android launchers are one of the reasons that Android is so powerful and customizable. The ones you have probably heard of are going to be Nova Launcher, Action Launcher and maybe ADW Launcher 2 as well. But today I'm going to be showing you four unique Android launchers that you might not have heard of, so I hope you enjoy. First on this list we have Arrow Launcher by Microsoft. This replaces your more traditional home screen setup by having preset pages instead of widgets. You can disable or enable these panels as you see fit and you can also move them to rearrange them around your home screen. One of the really unique things about Arrow Launcher is that the place where you can put widgets is on a vertical scrolling home screen. So if you go to the app section you can scroll up and down and you can add widgets as you choose. It has full icon pack support as well as folder support and the folders are kind of styled something like iOS. Along the bottom you've got a customizable dock of 5 icons, if you scroll this up you then reveal another 5 icons along with some quick settings including a slider for your screen brightness. The launcher will also sync with Wonderlist to get all of your tasks and your reminders as well as syncing with your Microsoft account and your work and education exchange accounts. As well as traditional live wallpaper support it also has something called Bing wallpaper. This will find you beautiful images from the web and it will also allow you to auto update these every day over Wi-Fi. If you open up all of your apps you get a vertical scrolling list which is paginated depending on the first letter of the application and on the right side of the screen you've got an alphabetized list which you can quickly scroll up and down to access your applications more quickly. My favourite thing about Arrow Launcher is definitely the vertical scrolling, I wish more launchers gave you the option to do this. Next up we have Yahoo's Aviate Launcher and this aims to stop you having to go into the full application drawer every time you want to launch an app. Instead this has something called collections, these act kind of like folders and they live to the right of your main home screen. If you then scroll right one more time you get to do the list of all of the installed apps on your phone. On the left hand side of the home screen we've got a hub of different Yahoo services, we've got the news, we've got some daily wallpapers as well as the weather. You can also go ahead and customise this panel and drop your own widgets in there as well. And the whole thing is topped off by a universal search which is pretty powerful. There's been a couple of recent updates to Aviate Launcher. One of my favourites allows you to automatically theme the search bar based on the wallpaper. This is one of my favourite features of Action Launcher and it's really nice to see Aviate implementing it as well. You can now also add any widget you want to your main home screen. Along the bottom you have a dock of 12 different apps and these you can go ahead and customise by dragging stuff from your main applications drawer or from a collection. As you'd expect it has full icon pack support. It has also been recently updated to have badge notifications. You can also change the home screen animation and you can also enable something called quick actions. Currently this pretty much only works on the phone but it means you can double tap your phone and it will pull up either an option to go to your call history or to make a direct call. My favourite thing about Aviate Launcher is definitely the collections. It makes it really easy to get to the apps that you need and that you use every day. Next up we have Lens Launcher and this is probably the most minimal home screen you can use. It completely does away with anything like widgets or folders or anything like that and it just gives you a expanded grid of every single app installed on your phone. You can see that when you then scroll over them it will expand the icons so you can see exactly what you're aiming for. I know a lot of people like using this, I'm not a huge fan, I don't think it looks aesthetically particularly pleasing and I do find that it's not always as easy as you'd expect to get straight to the app that you want to get to. I think this might be in part because I have so many apps installed on my phone, if you have about half of the amount that I have then it's going to be a little bit more useful. There are some nice settings, you can go in and disable which apps you don't want to appear, so for me this would definitely make the experience a little bit easier, and you can also decide how they are sorted on your home screen. One nice thing is that it does have icon pack support, and you can also go through and get rid of the names under the icons if you want to as well. But if you are looking for something which is very very simple and very minimalist, then Lens Launcher is definitely worth a try. And finally on this list we have Kiss Launcher. This is another incredibly minimal setup which does away with widgets. Basically at the bottom you've got a search bar and a favourites bar and you can choose two different themes. If you have a minimal theme then you'll have a blank home screen above it. If you choose the non-minimal theme then you'll have a list of all your most used apps and your favourite contacts. In the minimal mode you can go ahead and tap above the search bar and that list will appear. And you also get a list of your favourite apps which is completely customisable and you can add any app you want to the favourites bar. If you open up the search you get a full list of every installed application. The idea of this launcher is basically that you spend more time just searching for what you want and less time sweeping through lists. 
It's not completely my cup of tea, it's not quite as themable as I would like. However, I have to say it does look pretty smart and for people who are looking for something a little bit different, it might be down your street. So there you are guys, those are four unique home screen alternatives for Android. Let me know in the comments below which home screen you are currently using. My daily driver is still Action Launcher 3, but that's just me. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on all my social media and whatnots with the links in the description. And I'm gonna go drink some tea. Peace.